Let's take a look at user groups and permission levels in Omero. In Omero, data is organized into groups and data belongs to users. In Omero Web, you can find the groups to which you have access in the upper left hand corner. Shown here is just an arbitrary example in which we have Professor Julie with her research group of Rachel, Mary and Lucas who are together in a group. Data that is uploaded to Omero belongs to a specific user in a specific group. In those groups, users may have different roles. There is at least one group owner and the others are group members. The Omero administrator always has access to all groups. Only the group owners and the Omero administrator could change the group permission levels in Omero. The group permission levels are private, read-only, read-annotate and read-write. Please note the warning at the bottom of the page before changing group permission levels, to which we will come back later. Let's understand what the different permission levels mean. In the private permission level, members can only see their own data. The owner can see all data. This is good for data storage, but it is very limiting in terms of collaborating on data. In the read-only permission level, members can see everyone else's data, but they cannot edit, annotate or delete other people's data. Only the owner has more rights. In the more permissive read-annotate permission level, Members can view and annotate also other people's data, however, they cannot edit or delete it. Again, only the group owner has extended rights. And the most permissive level is the read-write level. Here, members can view, annotate, edit and delete everyone's data. So the system is used as if all of the members co-own all the data. This can only be used for strong collaboration with a high level of trust into each other. To avoid accidental data corruption in this permissive setting, the read-write permission level can only be granted by an admin and not by a group owner. Here we look at examples of what this means in practice. In our research group, the professor has no own data. However, Rachel, Mary and Lucas have the respective images uploaded to Omero as shown here. So in this case, since Professor Julie is the group owner, she can see all the data, while the other members of the group can only see their own data. Also, they can only annotate their respective own data and delete and edit only the own data, while the group owner has more permissive rights. In the read-only permission level, everyone can see everyone's data. However, again, annotation is only possible on the own data of the persons, while the group owner has more permissive rights. Also, editing and deleting is only possible for the respective group members on their own data with extended rights for the owner. This level gets more permissive in the read annotate function where not only all group members can see all data, but they can also annotate all data. Again, editing and deleting is restricted and only possible for the owner. Lastly, in the read write annotation level, everyone can see, annotate edit and delete everyone's data. Please note, it is possible to move projects or datasets to another group, but beware that if the target group to which data is moved has more restrictive permission levels than the source group, then all user-based annotations may be lost without warning. Please make sure that you review the Omero guides and test the procedure with unimportant test folders before moving annotated datasets. See the link below for details. Be reminded again that downgrading the permission level of a group to a more restrictive level leads to the loss of all user-based annotations except of those who own the data. Which group exists in Omero at the Institute? This is very much specific to your own institute. Here is just an arbitrary example from one of the use case partners. In one case, the default group is according to the organizational units at that institution, where the PI is by default the group owner and all the Omero users of the same organizational unit, i.e. the same research group, become members of that group. The group name then just equals the organizational unit. The group type is by default set to private, which can then be changed by the PI if needed. Another example would be the personal group of each researcher, where the researcher himself or herself is the group owner. Then this group owner can invite other members into the group. Then the group name in this case would be the first name and the last name followed by group. 
This is used also in the private permission level setting and can be changed by the researcher. This default group would allow any individual researcher to have collaborations across the own research group without having other members in the research group and their data in the same group. If for specific collaborations specific groups are required, you could typically contact the Omero administrator. Let's check how group settings can be changed. As a user, you go to the upper right hand corner and change the user settings. If you are a member in different groups, you can see the user settings and choose the default group that is loaded once you log into Omero. As a group owner, you can use those settings to also change the permission levels of the groups that you own. Be reminded that the read write permission level could only be granted by an Omero administrator. Please note again that the user groups and the default groups depend on your institute. In some cases, Omero first runs in test phases. At one use case institution, users were first put to a temporary group by default and then moved to the PIs group by an Omero administrator. As a general note, before you upload data to Omero, make sure that you know in which group the data ends up so that you're not accidentally giving away data if you don't want to share.